Hey guys, it's Mish, and for today's episode of Science Sunday, I'll be sharing a paper that answers a question that someone asked on my last exercise science video, which was, will cardio burn muscle? So the general consensus among fitness circles seems to be that in order to build muscle, you lift heavy things or do some kind of resistance training, and in order to lose fat and also burn muscle, you do cardio, like running, jogging, swimming, that kind of thing. So people seem to think that the more cardio you do, the more likely you are to burn off your hard-earned muscle, because cardio is generally catabolic, which means it causes you to break things down because it uses a lot of energy. In order to investigate the question of whether or not cardio, aka aerobic exercise, hinders or helps muscle growth, these authors did something a little bit funny. <laughs> so instead of a normal experimental design where they split the participants into two groups with different treatments, they instead put both treatments on one person. And it was multiple people in the, like, in the group, but each person got both treatments. And so they took men who were moderately trained at exercise, so they weren't athletes, but they also weren't completely unfamiliar with exercise, and they had them do aerobic exercise with one leg. And then six hours later, they had them do a resistance exercise with both legs. And they did this over five weeks, and they tested for muscle synthesis enzymes and proteins, so the molecular biological markers of growing muscles, and they also looked at how big the muscles actually got. And so the results are pretty shocking because they assumed they would just find, or I suppose their hypothesis, that they would find that aerobic exercise didn't hinder muscle growth. And not only did they find that, but they found that it actually helped muscle growth a lot. So after the five weeks, they found that both legs increased in strength a lot on the resistance training part. So during the resistance training, they did four sets of seven reps of a leg press-like exercise and they measured the power output. And so it was the same in both legs after five weeks. So this shows that aerobic exercise did not hinder the strength gains of their legs. And most interestingly, to me at least, they found that quad volume and cross-sectional area increased by 14% in the, the leg that did both aerobic exercise and resistance training, while the resistance-only leg gained 8%. And according to the authors, this 14% is remarkable and is way better than you usually find in strength training programs. So it seems that doing cardio with one leg resulted in that leg being almost twice as strong as the other leg, even though both legs did the exact same strength training program. And they also found that the mean fiber cross-sectional area, which is the area of all the muscle fibers in the leg, also increased twice as much in the aerobic group or aerobic leg as the strength train only leg. I'm a big fan of this experimental design because I feel like it really showed the effect a lot stronger than just splitting the groups into two. Because that way you don't have to control for diet, even though they did anyway because they were very thorough and all that kind of thing. Because you can really see in one person, the leg that did the cardio ended up getting a lot more muscle. And the legs, or the other leg that did just the strength, did not get as much muscle. So I think that's a pretty clear argument for your cardio may actually increase your muscle instead of decrease it. And some explanations for this that they offer based on other studies on the topic are that aerobic exercise, aka cardio, aka endurance exercise, actually increased muscle protein synthesis pathways. So all these really complicated molecules that have a part in turning your dietary protein into muscle tissue are much more common after aerobic exercise, and they're much more active. And another interesting explanation is that Aerobic exercise also seems to change your gene expression, which I can explain in another video how gene expression works and why it's so important for fitness and weight loss. They found that aerobic exercise actually downregulated a gene that inhibits muscle synthesis. So this is a fancy way of saying aerobic exercise got rid of something that prevents muscles from growing, and therefore your muscles are able to grow better. So although aerobic exercise is generally considered to be catabolic in that it breaks tissues down, it actually stimulates anabolic pathways for muscle growth. So once again, fancy way of saying, aerobic exercise actually turns on processes in your body that build muscles. So I think I know why the fitness industry and people in general think that cardio leads to muscle burning. And it's because cardio burns a lot of calories. And when you're in a calorie deficit, regardless of the cause, you are going to burn some of your body tissue and inevitably some of it's going to come from muscle and some of it's going to come from fat. And so if you're in a calorie deficit, 
there is a good chance you're going to lose some muscle. And if your deficit is caused by all the cardio you're doing and you're not eating back the calories that you're burning from, say, training for a marathon, then yeah, you might lose some muscle. But it seems to be the case that if you are creating your calorie deficit through exercise rather than just diet, you are less likely to burn muscle. So for example, if I were to sit around all day and eat a thousand calories, <sighs> then I'd probably burn a lot more muscle than I f if I were to run around all day and have the same caloric deficit by eating, like, let's say I ate 1,500 and burned 500 rather than just eating 1,000, I'd be more likely to save my muscle by doing that exercise. So that's just my long-winded answer to the question on my last exercise video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below and I will dig up some papers that could answer it. And actually in the process of answering this question, I found a lot of other fascinating papers on the topic that I'll be sharing as part of my Does Cardio Burn Muscle series. So thanks so much for watching, and please share my videos or subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'd really appreciate it.